Hey YouTubers, I'm Jacob and this is a how-to video for installing the new Rec Gen mud flaps to a new 2022 F350. I've included the product link for it in the description below, so make sure to click on that and check it out. And if you have any questions, post them in the comments below. I'm posting weekly videos for you guys, so please subscribe to my channel for more content. All right, let's get right into it. Here's a list of materials and tools you will need to complete this project. So the first thing you want to do is attach the mud flap to the upper mesh and you'll have the American flag facing out. So this is a passenger side mud flap and this shape will be in this side so that you can adjust this how you need based on your wheel well. So this will be a passenger side one. Put the smaller hardware in and then on the back side we have a washer and a nylon lock nut. So I'm just putting them in finger tight for now and then I'll use the ratchet and the Allen wrench to tighten it down. So it helps to pre-shape your mud flaps before you install them. Just go ahead and give it a little bit of bend for the wheel well. That'll help install a little easier with the bolts passing through so that you're not trying to push on it while installing it. Because they do come flat like this. So you want to just give it a little bit of curvature before you try installing it in the wheel well. So this project took us much longer than we expected, right around five hours, and that's all because of the bushwhacker fender flares. And with that extra space and having to drill into the fender blindly makes this project a little bit more difficult. And Pat actually took this through the car wash and almost lost the mud flaps in the car wash that did come loose. It didn't fall off though. So he went and got different hardware. He got longer bolts and a lock nut and nylon lock nut on the end so it's like double locked. He noticed that he had to tighten it down a little bit more because it will compress the fender flares even more and so because there was a little bit of play between the fender flare and where the actual wheel well is he had to tighten them down significantly more than he thought trying not to overstrip it and now it's a very solid fit. These things are not going anywhere. For this project, you're definitely gonna want an 11 millimeter wrench if you have an 11 millimeter nut on the backside, which is, we found out is a very odd size. We didn't have them in two sets that we had with us. So if you are working with 11 millimeter hardware, super handy to have. I think you want that to like line up there. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'm not holding that. Oh yeah, true. The non-drill clips weren't solid enough when mounted to the fender flares. Instead, we used the factory hardware for the bottom mount, then drilled two mounting holes for the new hardware. It helps to turn the wheel out for more clearance at the front. Yeah, but you gotta mark it to where it'll hold that center curve. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so it doesn't lift up. Right. These mud flaps are taking quite some time. It's been about two hours so far and we're still working on the first one. <laughs> so just be patient when you're installing your mud flaps. If you have a set of bushwhacker fender flares, it's gonna take a little bit extra time to line everything up since most of the anchor points are hidden behind the flares. Oh yeah, I'm fighting now. Still have a lot of bolt to work with here. Hand. I just push against it. There we go. There we go. Yes. It's best to have three solid mounting points for these mud flaps. We use the existing hardware location at the bottom to hold the flap in place before drilling or applying the top two bolts. <laughs> If 
that down. Yeah, don't be shy. <laughs> I just don't want to go through your cab oh, wall. Oh, fuck it. Hit it. Go. <laughs> yeah, you're through. Take these clips. And they turn it out and slide them in. Make sure it's clipped around the metal on the back side. And Pat was hiding them. Can't see with your left arm in the way. Like this, you want to make sure this side is facing backwards. Well done. Just like that. Line it up again. For the rear flaps, we didn't use any of the existing hardware for sturdier mounting. Can you come down a bit? Bingo. Like I said, you gotta be good with fingers. That's gonna be a bitch, dude. Yeah. I know. Do you have an 11 millimeter? I might. A little pad's taken out there. So this is definitely not an easy process on these Super Duties in the rear, especially if you have the Bushwhacker fender flares, because you're drilling through two different pieces. You're drilling through the fender flares, and then you're also making sure you have to hit the metal perfectly. You're getting everything aligned. And because he's got 35s on this truck and the extreme angles, it's forcing our drills to be at different angles. Ideally, we would lift this truck up and take the rear wheel off to get a perfect angle on it, but we were just trying to get it done. These Rectin mud flaps look awesome. They really give it a different style on the truck and I'm sure this will protect it very well. So if you have aftermarket fender flares like Bushwhacker, expect this project to go much longer than expected installing the RecGen mud flaps. If you don't have additional Bushwhacker or any kind of fender flares, it's probably gonna make this project much easier and quicker. I would imagine only a couple hours, especially if you have factory holes already drilled like a lot of these different trucks do now. Thank you for watching this how-to video. I've included the product link for these RecGen mud flaps in the description below. So make sure to click on those and check them out. And as always, I'm posting weekly videos. So please subscribe to my channel for more content. Thanks for watching.